What is your name and where are you from? My name is Sabrina Murda, and I'm originally from Hampton, South Carolina. It's a little town about an hour from the coast in South Carolina. Why did you feel a need to actually move to Nashville to further your music? Well, I actually didn't come to Nashville to do music, so my experience is probably different from a lot of people. Um, I was living a normal kind of life, um, teaching Spanish, and took spring break and had decided somewhere in my crazy mind that I was going to go to graduate school at UT. While I was there looking for a place to live, a job, um, I just felt like God said, go to Nashville. And I was young enough and crazy enough to say, okay. So, packed my car and moved. Let's talk about some of the things that you left behind or sacrifices you made to, to come here. Well, I think I was young enough that I didn't have um, a lot of attachments uh, or responsibilities, but I left all of my family. I didn't know anyone when I moved here. Um, I was also dating a guy that I thought I would marry and decided that this was more important, this move was more important to me. And I offered, I said, you're welcome to come but uh, he chose not to, and so, um, so I left stability in some regards because I came here not knowing anybody, not having a job, not doing, you know, having anything really. But uh, it worked out so far. What was the first thing you did when you when you got to Nashville? First musical thing, or okay, um, the first thing I did is non-musical was just try to get established. I lived in a hotel for three days and after the third day I said today I need an apartment. And I found one. The next week I said today I need a job and I found one. Musically the first thing that I did was um, I had a temp job and so I would take my guitar on breaks and play just because it was comforting. But I didn't do anything really with music until a friend of mine died and he was a co-worker and he um, unfortunately died tragically and it kind of affected me in a deep way, um, someone I was actually getting close to. And so I took my guitar out to kind of grieve and from that process I wrote a song and that led me to playing at a local, local um, coffee house until I started meeting folks and doing music. Did you have a plan when you got here at all? For music, absolutely not. Um, the guy who ended up being my uh, manager when I started actually doing music, it took him about a year to convince me that I should actually sing. Um, I thought music was fun, it was a hobby, it was something you do kind of to feed your soul, but it wasn't anything serious. So I didn't have any idea. And then when he and I got started, Truthfully, I kind of relied on him for, you know, the people that he knew and what he was trying to do. And even though he wasn't really an experienced manager, um, he did know a lot of folks and he introduced me to a lot of folks. Um, once all of the music things kind of fell apart, um, I was signed to a small label and um, all of that fell apart. And then my plan was, eh, I'm not going to do music anymore. But I couldn't resist. So then my plan was, Let's record. Let's make some music. Let's play for some people. Let's see what happens. But I didn't have any specific meet this person, go this place, play this place. It was more like kind of fishing, just kind of throwing the lines out and see what happens. Have you found in Nashville what you expected to find here or is it just totally different? I don't really think I came with any expectation because I didn't come to do music originally. But once I started doing music, I think what really caught my attention was that Nashville has a um, reputation for country music. And I definitely didn't sing country. So <laughs> that was uh, definitely something that I kind of looked at and said, okay, well, I'm here anyway and I'm going to do music. But I found there was a lot of music and that even though I wasn't singing country, there was a great community that was accepting of what I was doing. So I think in the regards of not having an expectation, but at the same time being accepted for what I was doing in the community, I think that that was kind of a, a really cool thing here. 
How does the music scene in Nashville compare to the music scene from where you're from? Truthfully, I was pretty much unaware of the music scene from where I'm from. I'm from a small town, and um, the only music I knew was high school choral groups and church. So um, my town's small, so small, they don't have, there are no shows. Um, there are no music venues. The only time a band was there is once a year we have a big thing called the Watermelon Festival. And it's been going on for over 100 years. And every Saturday of the Watermelon Festival, in the, the last weekend in June, they have a street dance. But um, I grew up very conservative, and I never went to a street dance. So I had no concept of what it was. Give me some of the pros and cons you have found since you've moved to Nashville. Things you really like and things, yeah, not so much. What I really like. Um, I think I like best that there is a community, that there are people who are supportive, not just fellow musicians and fellow people who are in the industry, um, but I found a lot of non-musical people, if you will, who will support you and encourage you and let's say they are a photographer or a chef or whatever it is and they're willing to kind of contribute what their expertise is to helping you and it may sometimes seems like a roundabout way but um, everybody's kind of pitching in um, I also think the diversity of music here is is really a plus because you don't when you're coming in from the outside you don't really expect to hear rock and metal and you, you expect a more of the country and the folk bluegrass but then to be able to see that there's a diverse i mean there's there's a really cool jazz scene here in nashville um it's a little more on the underground but it's it's here and it's important things i don't like um i don't think of myself as a rebellious person but i do realize that in the industry there are certain standards that exist and I do feel that many times young artists who are coming are trying to fit into a mold, a cookie cutter mold, and that they lose the authenticity of themselves in trying to sing like some of the bigger acts or some of the bigger, you know, they try to write that way, they try to look that way, and um, I think they do themselves a disservice as well as the industry. Um, because I think that innovation is important to keep the industry growing. If everything on the radio sounds alike, if everybody looks alike, it might sell records, but it doesn't really serve the listener. And I don't think it serves the artist either. Well, besides Nashville being a mecca of music, are there any other things that you've found since moving here that's very appealing to you about the city? It's not music related. Not music related. Well, wow, I could almost say everything. Um, my town is so small, we call it Mayberry number two. Um, at least me and my brothers do. Um, so when I came to Nashville, I appreciate that it is a small town feel, but big town convenience. Um, in my town, the nearest Walmart is 35 miles away. In Nashville, you can get to a Walmart probably any direction in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, in some areas of Nashville, you know, you can get there in three or four minutes. But um, I like that I can go to the symphony, but I can also go to, you know, a mom and pop and have a meet and three somewhere. I like that, and where I'm not used to that from my town. Um, I remember growing up, the nearest mall was almost two hours away. And uh, because of that, as a young person, I felt a lot of freedom here. I didn't feel constrained by everybody knew my name, everybody knew my parents, my grandparents, and they could just, you know, you know, tell everything that you did. Hear a little bit of anonymity, and yet at the same time, it was safe. It felt safe. What would you tell other people who are thinking about moving to Nashville to be a songwriter? What kind of things should they know before they come here? If you're going to move to Nashville, um, I do think you need to have a structured plan. It doesn't have to be point by point, but I think you kind of need to know, because the industry is changing, you kind of need to know what direction you want to go. Um, if you don't do that, that's not saying you won't be successful, but 
it will definitely help speed the process along. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know a lot when I came, and so there are some things and some hurdles that I had to kind of figure out my way across. Um, I also think it's important to be open to not just what you're doing because you will grow more as an artist if you are out listening to a lot of people and listening to a lot of kinds of music and experiencing the culture here because there is a music culture here in addition to just the natural culture in Nashville um, and I think that that will help you grow as a person. I also think you need to know that it is a business and as wonderful and as important as you were in your town. Um, when you come to Nashville, you've got to compete. You can't really just play the same three chords and the same status quo that maybe you played for your grandma. You have to be able to compete on a level um, so that you can earn the respect and the acknowledgement from those people that you're really trying to reach. Are you happy you moved here? Oh, I love it. I love Nashville. I, I'm so happy that I made the move, even though I didn't know I was coming here to do music. Um, I've just had such a great experience. I mean, I can't say anything bad. I mean, I've had a normal life with all of its challenges. But moving here has allowed me to grow definitely as a person and surely as a musician. Um, when you show up at any number of places in Nashville, especially on, let's say, on a Friday night and you go downtown, tonk person. But you walk in and you see this guy that, you know, possibly could look like somebody from Duck Dynasty and he is shredding like nobody's business or he's on the steel and you're just like, oh, where else could I see that? You, you don't see it anywhere else. Um, so I'm really glad that I made that move. Do you have any regrets about moving to Nashville? Only that I didn't do it sooner, that I didn't know what I was coming for. Is that's the only regret I would have. Let's talk about some of the successful things that you've done since you've been here. What would you qualify as some successes that you've had? Well, I think some of my successes have been, um, I've played at probably almost every venue here in Nashville. Not with the exception of I haven't played the Opry and the Ryman. Um, I'm not giving up on those. Um, but I've played at most of the singer-songwriter venues as well as uh, some of the other venues like 12th and Porter, which is more of kind of a band venue, 3rd and Lindsley, kind of a band venue. Um, I've had the opportunity to play some contests. Um, in 2007, I won uh, Sonic, the food company, sponsored a competition, and I actually won that competition. Um, it was called Sonic Search for a Star, which was, you know, totally beyond me because I totally don't do competitions, but kind of got challenged to do it and went to do it and was very surprised. Um, I think my biggest success in Nashville has been my personal growth. Um, the music part is important, but at the end of the day, uh, there are many, miser many miserable musicians. And if, as a musician or an artist, whatever your art form is, if you don't have some inner success, that's not based on what other people think about you or what they think about your art. I think that somehow you've cheated yourself in that whole life experience because you haven't found that place, that peace. When I sit in my pajamas and I play my guitar and I sing a song and it really moves me, or if I'm playing a stage and someone comes up to me and lets me know that that song meant something to me, that's more important than any award I can win. And I've had some of those experiences. I've had a father who, who expressed how much what I did for him, which was a simple song that I sang for his daughter, um, but how much that meant to him. And I actually, this year, I had a lady who told me that I saved her life with my music. Totally blew me away. Um, I'm sure, you know, we could chalk it up to emotionalism, but she was going through a divorce. And she heard my latest project and she, she was just like, you have no idea what that means. And um, she's continued to tell me that this entire year, what that music means to her. So I think that's an important thing. I think that's a successful thing for me. Let's see. 
Let's talk about the songwriting community in Nashville. You, all you guys kind of hang out together at, at all these different venues and you're co-writing and all. Tell me about the songwriting community and, and networking and the importance of these things. Well, I'm actually pretty much a solo songwriter. Um, I very rarely co-write with anyone. But the songwriting community is important because even though I'm not necessarily sitting down in a room and writing a song with someone, I feel like I'm sharing the experience. Um, when I go out and see some of the songwriters that are friends of mine that I hang out with, you're always bouncing ideas off each other. Sometimes it's conscious, sometimes it's subconscious. Sometimes you're having a conversation about, you know, who has the best milkshake. And at the same time, someone might say something that'll inspire you. Or you sit and you listen to something that someone's working on and playing and it makes you think, hmm, I never thought of that progression or I never thought about that phrase that way. Um, but I think the biggest part of the songwriting community here in Nashville is that it is quite a family. I mean, there's always going to be this group and this clique and that kind of thing that's going on. But in general, there's a support. Um, I have friends who have had really big name stars that have showed up at a picking party and they're just as excited to hear you know little old me or little old whoever play as for them to take the stage and that makes it that makes it such a worthwhile thing for you because you realize that everybody realizes we're in this together we all have messages our messages may differ um, in how we interpret them but I think we all have something to say and that we're all willing to not only say what our piece, but to listen to the next person and let them share the stage. If you had to do it over, would you still have moved to Nashville? Absolutely. I would totally move to Nashville if I had to do it again. Um, it's been a great ride. It's been a great experience. I've thought over the years, maybe I should move somewhere else. And that was just me kind of wondering if I could make a bigger splash in a smaller pond. Um, but there's no place like Nashville. When my friends come to visit, my family comes to visit, and there's just something about this town. You can take them out any night of the week and let them hear music, great music, not just, you know, so-so music, but great music. Um, but also, just in general, my life has been really good here. I've had, like any other person, normal challenges. But I can't imagine. I mean, one day, sure, I have aspirations of maybe moving to Europe, but not for good. Nash will always be home. What's the coolest thing about being a songwriter? The coolest thing about being a songwriter you don't have to pay for psychotherapy because you write it all out. Every time I write a song, I'll go back and look at it and go, was that my story? Somebody else's story. And um, of course we write other people's story all the time. But I think in the background, there's something we're trying to say. I definitely would never say everything is autobiographical. Um, I have a specific song on my last CD called Secret. And the context of the song is a little dark, um, so I tend to preface it by saying, this is not my story, this is somebody's story. But the very last line says, we all have secrets that we've never told. And I think that that was coming from where I was at the point when I wrote the song. I didn't have the character's secret, but I had my own secrets that I needed to express, and the safe way for me was to write a song about it. Is there anything uh, that I didn't cover that you think is important uh, for people who are thinking about coming to Nashville to be a professional songwriter? Something I just didn't think about that maybe you have in the back of your head? If you're going to come to Nashville and you really have that drive and that desire, don't wait. There's so much here. Not just in the music community, but just in general. It's Nashville. Um, as a city, as a community, um, don't hesitate. Don't put off your dream. Um, 
unfortunately, time doesn't wait for us. And if it's something you really feel that you really want to do, take a chance, step out. You never know. A lot of times that step, that step is not there until you actually move your foot. But, um, you know, I always say you can always go home, but uh, you may not have the opportunity again. So if the opportunity is there, take it. Thank you. Thank you.